five more people that you didn't know were Norwegian. The band Aha, you know the song. Take on me, take on me. Hey, come on, man, that was a smash hit. Everybody knows that song. I will admit, though, that I was today years old when I found out this was an actual band, like a group, <laughs> and not just one guy. I used to think it was just that guy. We all remember the music video. This was probably one of the coolest music videos of all time. And I don't know why I only thought it was him because clearly they show the other people in the video. There's the other guy. I don't know if I just always thought it was the same guy. I have no idea. You know, this song came out a long time ago. And there's guy number three. See, there's always been a band. Hmm. And literally even at the end of the music video when the girl was looking through the magazine, the cover of the magazine says, aha, and there are three people. How did I not see that before? Anyway, aha, on the 19th of October, 1985, became the first ever Norwegian group to score a number one song on the United States singles chart. Wow, 1985, that is pretty cool to be the first group, the first people from your country to ever do that. So yeah, Norwegian. Number two is Alan Walker, 28.8 million monthly listeners on Spotify. And you know his song, he has many songs, but where are you now? Dun, 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 dun. Hey, I'm faded. Yeah, that one's a smash. Despite being born in England, my boy Alan Walker is Norwegian and he is from right where I am sitting, Bergen, Nordica. Number three, now, no matter how popular Alan Walker is, this guy right here, Kigo. Now, in America, I always call him Kygo, but it is Kigo, right? Kigo. Anyway, Kigo, 35.9 million listeners on Spotify. And this dude, he's got smash hits just back to back to back to back to back. He's a world renowned, like, whoa, DJ Supreme. Now, for some reason, Kigo is born in Singapore. I, I didn't do research as to why that is. But you know, you never know. People, they be pregnant, they be in different places, and they give birth in different places. But Kiko is also from Bergen. What? It must be something about the, the water in Bergen, you know? Now, does that mean that these guys aren't really Norwegian because they're from Bergen, not from Norway? <laughs> Who's gonna walk you through the dark side of the morning? Hey, it ain't me. Yeah, that's the jam right there. Keeping it with music, number four is her. Now, the Barbie movie just came out. We all know the song by Aqua. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. It's fantastic. Hey, right? That is a smash hit globally, everywhere. Never knew that the, the, the singer was Norwegian. Oh my gosh. Lena Nystrom. And look at that. Norwegian musician, singer, songwriter, and actress who is the female lead vocalist of the Danish-Norwegian Euro dance group, Aqua. Man, you know, in the 90s, all the music that was topping the charts in America, it was all European, all this Euro dance music, like all of it. All of, like every hit song you could think of from the clubs, the raves, all that stuff, it was all come from Europe. I had no idea. I thought all these people were American. <laughs> and number five is this woman here, Cecilia Brekus. She is a boxer. And I think she's pretty good. Yeah, she's pretty good. She's got all the belts. She is the first woman to ever fight on an HBO televised boxing match. And one of 11 boxers, male or female, to hold all four major titles simultaneously, which means she's the undisputed champion of the whole world. Born in Colombia, she was adopted as a two-year-old by Norwegian parents and raised in San Viken. Back! Bergen again, yo, what's up with Bergen? Oh my goodness. Do the best people of Norway just come from Bergen? I mean, I, I don't know. You'll have to let me know if you want a part three because I got some other ones and I didn't tell you about them.